dear listeners, and welcome back to our podcast. I'm Sophia. And I'm James. We hope you're having a great day. Today, we have a very interesting topic to talk about. We are going to discuss using subtitles when watching movies or TV shows. Yes, subtitles can be very helpful for learning English. But sometimes, they might not be the best choice. In this episode, we will talk about when to use subtitles and when to avoid them. That's right, Sophia. Let's start with the basics. What are subtitles? Subtitles are the text you see at the bottom of the screen when you watch a movie or a TV show. They show what the characters are saying in the same language or a different language. For example, if you are watching a movie in English and you don't understand everything, you can use subtitles in your own language to help you understand better. Exactly, James. Subtitles can help you understand the story and the characters better. They can also help you learn new words and phrases in English. Let's talk more about the benefits of using subtitles. One big benefit is that they can improve your listening skills. Yes, when you listen and read at the same time, you can connect the sounds of the words with their written form. This can help you recognize words and phrases when you hear them again. Another benefit is that subtitles can help you understand fast speech. Sometimes native speakers talk very quickly and it can be hard to catch every word. Right, James? With subtitles, you can see the words you missed and understand the conversation better. This can make you feel more confident when watching English content. Also, subtitles can help you learn the correct pronunciation of words. When you see the words written out, you can match them with the sounds you hear. And don't forget about the cultural aspect. Watching movies and TV shows with subtitles can help you learn more about the culture of English-speaking countries. You can see how people interact, what they talk about, and what is important to them. Yes, Sophia, that's a great point. Subtitles can give you a deeper understanding of the language and the culture. But is it always a good idea to use subtitles? That's a good question, James. Sometimes using subtitles can have some downsides. We have talked about what subtitles are and how they can be beneficial for learning English. We will discuss when you should use subtitles and when it might be better to avoid them. Now, let's dive into when you should use subtitles to make the most out of your English learning experience. Yes, knowing when to use subtitles can really help you improve your English skills. Let's start with the most common situation, when you are just beginning to learn English. Absolutely, when you are a beginner, it can be very hard to understand everything in English. Using subtitles in your native language can help you understand the story and enjoy the movie or TV show. Right. It's important to enjoy what you're watching. If you are constantly confused, you might not want to keep watching and then you miss out on a great learning opportunity. That's true. Also, beginners can use English subtitles to start connecting spoken and written English. For example, if you watch a simple children's show with English subtitles, you can see the words and phrases you are learning in real life. Yes, and this can help you remember them better. Now, let's talk about intermediate learners. If you are at an intermediate level, you have a better understanding of English, but you still might miss some words or phrases. For intermediate learners, using English subtitles can be very helpful. When you hear a new word and see it written at the same time, you can understand it better and learn how to use it in context. And if you see a word you don't know, you can pause the video, look it up, and learn something new. This is a great way to expand your vocabulary. Exactly. Another good time to use subtitles is when you are watching something with a lot of new or difficult vocabulary. For example, if you are watching a science documentary or a historical drama, there might be many words you don't know. Yes, and these kinds of shows often have specific terms that are not used in everyday conversation. Using subtitles can help you understand these terms and learn more about different topics in English. And don't forget about accents and dialects. English is spoken in many different countries, 
and people have different accents and ways of speaking. Sometimes, it can be hard to understand these different accents. That's a great point. If you are watching a movie from the UK and you are used to American English, the accents might be challenging. Using subtitles can help you understand better and get used to different ways of speaking English. Yes, and this can also help you improve your listening skills. The more you listen to different accents, the better you will become at understanding them. Another situation where subtitles can be useful is when you are watching something fast-paced. For example, action movies or TV shows with a lot of quick dialogue. Right, in these kinds of shows, the characters often speak very quickly and it can be hard to catch everything. Subtitles can help you keep up with the fast pace and understand what is happening. And sometimes, characters use slang or informal language that might be new to you. Seeing the words written out can help you learn and understand these informal expressions. Yes, slang and informal language are important parts of English. And using subtitles can help you learn how people really speak in everyday situations. Also, if you are watching something very emotional or dramatic, the characters might speak in a way that is hard to understand because of their emotions. Subtitles can help you understand their feelings and the story better. That's a good point. Emotions can make speech less clear. And subtitles can help you follow the story without missing important details. There are many situations where using subtitles can be very helpful when you are a beginner. When you are at an intermediate level, when you are watching something with difficult vocabulary, different accents, fast-paced dialogue, or a lot of emotions. Yes, and using subtitles in these situations can help you improve your English skills and enjoy your favorite movies and TV shows more. We talked about when to use subtitles to help you learn English. Now, we're going to discuss when it might be better to avoid using subtitles. Yes, James. While subtitles can be very helpful, there are times when they might actually hinder your learning progress. Let's start with one of the main reasons, over-reliance. That's a great point, Sophia. If you always use subtitles, you might start to rely on them too much. This means you might not focus on listening to the words and sounds as much as you should. Exactly. If you're always reading the subtitles, you might miss out on the opportunity to improve your listening skills. It's important to challenge yourself to understand English without any help sometimes. Another reason to avoid subtitles is to improve your ability to understand context. When you don't use subtitles, you have to rely more on the visual cues, body language, and the context of the conversation to understand what's happening. Yes, this can be very beneficial. Understanding context is a key part of learning any language. For example, if you see someone smiling and laughing, you can guess that they are saying something happy or funny, even if you don't understand every word. That's true, Sophia. Context can help you understand the meaning of new words and phrases. It forces you to think more and make connections, which can improve your overall comprehension skills. Another situation where you might want to avoid subtitles is when you are practicing for real-life conversations. In real life, you won't have subtitles to help you, so it's good to practice listening without them. Absolutely. Real-life conversations can be challenging, but practicing without subtitles can help you get used to understanding spoken English in different situations. Also, avoiding subtitles can help you improve your memory and concentration. When you don't have the text to rely on, you have to pay more attention to the words and try to remember them. Yes, this can be a great exercise for your brain. It can help you focus better and improve your ability to remember new words and phrases. And let's not forget about pronunciation. When you watch without subtitles, you can focus more on how the words are pronounced. This can help you improve your own pronunciation and speaking skills. Right, Sophia? Listening carefully to the pronunciation and trying to mimic it can be very helpful. You can learn the natural rhythm and intonation of English, which is very important for sounding more like a native speaker. 
Another good reason to avoid subtitles is to develop your inferencing skills. This means using the information you do understand to guess the meaning of what you don't understand. That's a great skill to develop. If you miss a word or a phrase, you can still understand the overall meaning by using the words you do know and the context. This is a very useful skill in real-life conversations. And sometimes, watching without subtitles can make the experience more enjoyable. You can focus more on the visuals, the acting, and the emotions of the characters without being distracted by the text at the bottom of the screen. Yes, Sophia, enjoying the movie or TV show is important too. If you are constantly reading subtitles, you might miss some of the visual details and the overall experience. There are several reasons to avoid using subtitles to improve your listening skills. Understand context better, prepare for real-life conversations, enhance your memory and concentration, focus on pronunciation, develop inferencing skills, and to enjoy the content more. We talked about when it might be better to avoid using subtitles. Now, let's discuss some tips on how to transition from using subtitles to watching without them. Yes, James, transitioning from using subtitles to not using them can be a gradual process. The first tip is to start small. Don't try to watch a full movie without subtitles right away. Start with short clips or scenes. That's a great tip, Sophia. Watching short clips can be less overwhelming. You can focus on understanding just a few minutes of dialogue at a time. Another good tip is to use the dual subtitles method. This means having subtitles in both English and your native language. This way, you can still see the translation, but also see the English words at the same time. Yes, this can be very helpful. It allows you to compare the two languages and understand how sentences are structured in English. As you get more comfortable, you can switch to using only English subtitles. This will help you focus more on the English language without relying on your native language. Another useful tip is to re-watch familiar content without subtitles. If you have a favorite movie or TV show that you've seen many times, try watching it again without subtitles. Since you already know the story, it will be easier to follow along. Yes, re-watching familiar content can boost your confidence. You can focus on the language without worrying too much about missing parts of the story. Another strategy is to use pause and replay. If you don't understand something, pause the video and replay that part. Try to listen carefully and understand what is being said. That's a great idea, James. Pausing and replaying can help you catch words or phrases you might have missed. It gives you more time to process the information. Also, try to watch content with clear and slow speech. Some movies or TV shows have characters who speak very clearly and slowly. This can be easier to understand when you are transitioning away from subtitles. Yes, and there are also many educational videos made for English learners. These videos are often slower and clearer, which can be very helpful. Another tip is to focus on specific vocabulary. For example, if you are watching a cooking show, try to focus on learning the cooking vocabulary. This can make it easier to understand the overall content. That's a good point, James. Focusing on specific vocabulary can make the learning process more manageable. You can build your vocabulary step by step. Listening practice is also important. Try to listen to English podcasts, audiobooks, or music. The more you listen to English, the better you will become at understanding it without subtitles. Yes, immersing yourself in the language through listening can significantly improve your skills. Try to make listening to English a regular part of your daily routine. Another effective method is to watch with a friend or study partner. You can discuss the content together and help each other understand. This can make the process more fun and interactive. Absolutely, James. Discussing the content with someone else can deepen your understanding and make the experience more enjoyable. And don't forget to be patient with yourself. Learning a language takes time and it's okay to feel challenged. Celebrate your progress, no matter how small.
Yes, patience is key. Remember that every step you take brings you closer to your goal. Don't be discouraged by mistakes. They are a natural part of learning. Start with short clips, use dual subtitles, rewatch familiar content, use pause and replay, watch content with clear speech, focus on specific vocabulary, practice listening, watch with a friend, and be patient with yourself. Exactly. These tips can help you transition from using subtitles to watching without them. We talked about tips for transitioning from using subtitles to watching without them. Now, let's give you some practical exercises to help you practice these strategies. Yes, James, practical exercises can make a big difference in your learning journey. Let's start with a simple exercise, the three-step listening exercise. That sounds interesting, Sophia. How does it work? It's quite simple. First, choose a short video clip, maybe three to five minutes long. In the first step, watch the clip with subtitles in your native language. This will help you understand the context and the story. Okay, and what's the second step? In the second step, watch the same clip with English subtitles. This time, focus on reading the English subtitles and matching them with what you hear. Try to pay attention to new words and phrases. And what about the third step? In the third step, watch the clip again, but this time without any subtitles. Try to understand as much as you can by listening to the dialogue and using the context you already know from the first two steps. That's a great exercise, Sophia. It helps you gradually move from relying on subtitles to understanding spoken English on its own. Exactly, James. Another exercise is the pause and predict exercise. This one is a bit more interactive. How do we do the pause and predict exercise? Start watching the video without subtitles. Every minute or so, pause the video and try to predict what will happen next or what the characters might say. This forces you to think about the context and the language used. That sounds fun and challenging. It helps you stay engaged with the content and think more deeply about what you're watching. Yes, and after you predict, you can resume the video and see if you were right. This can help you understand the flow of conversation and improve your inferencing skills. Another exercise is the shadowing technique. This is great for improving both listening and speaking skills. Yes, the shadowing technique is very effective. To do this, Watch a video without subtitles and try to repeat what the characters are saying as soon as they say it. This helps you practice pronunciation, intonation, and fluency. It might be difficult at first, but with practice, it can greatly improve your speaking skills. You can start with shorter sentences and gradually move to longer ones. Another useful exercise is context clues. Choose a video and watch it without subtitles. When you hear a word or phrase you don't understand, try to guess its meaning from the context before looking it up. That's a great way to improve your vocabulary. Understanding context clues is a crucial skill for language learners. It helps you learn new words in a natural way. And don't forget the listening journal exercise. Keep a journal where you write down new words and phrases you hear while watching videos without subtitles. Later, review them and try to use them in your own sentences. That's a fantastic idea, Sophia. Writing down new words helps reinforce your memory, and using them in sentences helps you practice and remember them better. Another fun exercise is role play. Watch a scene without subtitles, then try to act out the scene with a friend or study partner. This helps you practice speaking and understand the dialogue better. Yes, role-playing can be a lot of fun and very effective. It forces you to use the language actively and think on your feet. Lastly, try the No Subtitles Challenge. Choose a specific day or time when you watch all your videos without subtitles. It can be challenging, but it's a great way to push yourself and see how much you can understand. That's a great challenge, Sophia. It's important to challenge yourself and see your progress over time. So, to sum up, we've talked about several practical exercises 
The three-step listening exercise, pause and predict, shadowing technique, context clues, listening journal, role play, and no subtitles challenge. These exercises can help you transition from using subtitles to watching without them and improve your overall English skills. Remember, everyone, practice is key. The more you practice these exercises, the more confident you will become in understanding English without subtitles. We hope you found these exercises helpful. Don't forget to share your progress and any questions you have with us. Yes, we'd love to hear from you. Thank you for joining us on this journey of learning English through subtitles and beyond. See you next time, everyone. Keep practicing and stay motivated. Bye for now and remember, you can do it. Just keep going and enjoy the process.